and maybe we're live. It looks like right now we are live in the shop, actually. I'll turn this up a little bit. But this is the first ever in shop live. You have a very bad camera, no, a very good camera, very bad audio. But I realized in half an hour, this camera is going to die. So we'll make the best of it. Switch to the bad camera, bad audio. It's OK. We're trying new things. So as the title says down there, we are going to try to take apart a printer right here for flight sim parts. So uh, we'll see what if we can get any bearings, any cool lights or uh, keypad stuff. Uh, and we'll see how a printer works just for fun. Let's go. So, oh, let's see if we can. Uh -huh. Okay, here we go. Oh, and this is my beautiful wall right there. Uh, and yeah, here's the printer. So, I don't actually know where to start, but let's start with a screwdriver. Uh, we'll get a little screwhead for it. And why don't we just start with this little paper tray mechanism? So basically, the paper goes through here and shoots back out the other way. Uh, but I kind of just want to see how it works. Take it apart. This printer actually completely died a little bit ago. Uh, you would print paper, and it would it would go through and print out exactly nothing. So it, you'd put the paper in, it'd go out, and it'd just be a blank piece of paper. We're like, that's kind of useless for a printer. It's in the name, print. Uh, so we went through, we fixed, tried to replace the toner, tried to redo the cartridges, tried to like realign the wheels, but we couldn't find what happened to it. It's also an old printer, so we just got a newer one that's smaller and works better, honestly. Uh, this one's also, the new one's also faster. But, I don't know, let's, let's see what we have. So we have this scanner right here. It doesn't look like we have a lot of screws. Oh, we do have some here, but we're gonna deal with that later if we can. Just let's deal with this. It looks like this will come off actually if we peel it off. And yeah, so we have this little ramp the paper goes on. I don't know. Uh, this is a little bit of a different live stream, honestly. I'll tune in on my phone actually so I can look at questions. But basically, yeah, if anyone has questions, ask them in the chat. We'll kind of just chill out, taking apart a printer. And I never thought that would be a sentence I would say, but here we are. Uh, it looks like we have some screws back here, and some screws up here. And it looks like we can actually take this out to reveal an entire wondrous place here. <laughs> I have the same printer. Oh, that's so funny. Yeah, I love this printer. I'm so sad it didn't uh, it stopped working because it would print super fast. Um, that's hilarious. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend taking it apart if it already works, but if it doesn't, there's no, we were gonna throw this away anyways. So why not look at it as engineering stuff? Um, this is like to make the car stop. <laughs> Master attempt, uh, 10 out of 10. Uh, it doesn't look like there's any screws here, but there are screws here. Woohoo! Let me actually tune in. That would be so fun. Uh, where are you? It's so weird seeing yourself on YouTube. If you like, if I'm going through the search results of some like Cessna stuff, sometimes I'll see my videos and I'll be like, wait, what? Because I do a lot of Cessna research for my simulator. And I'm like, okay, that's weird. It is kind of impressive though. I'm like, wow, I'm on the internet. They don't just let anyone on there. Uh, yeah, 
If nothing else, we can get screws out of this. Look at that. Yeah, it's really interesting to take things apart because you learn how they work, usually, unless you're kind of ignorant like me. Uh, ooh, it looks like there's this kind of base plate that just basically makes it look pretty. It's very important for products to look pretty. Uh, so, let's see if we can't get any further. Ooh. Let's look at the chat. Oh, look at this punk. Let's, let's uh, look at the chat, shall we? Okay. <laughs> oh, I love that comment. Who said that? Indiana 30... Uh, Indiana 33, next step, dismantle a Boeing. Uh, I would be down for that. If anyone has a Boeing in like their backyard under their bed, uh, let me know. I would love to disassemble it. <laughs> I might not be very good at it though. Oh, whoa. Oh, so you squeeze this part and the spring comes out. Now I have a spring. Could have got, had a spring out of a pen or something, but this one's cooler. This spring is also really weak, so if you squeeze it together, it really wants, it's so pathetic, kind of, if that makes sense. But yeah, that's a super fun spring. Um, <laughs> what parts do I think are going to be useful? Uh, I really have my eye on these rollers. I've seen rollers like this being used a lot on yokes. Um, <laughs> Um, and then, I think that'll be one of the main places, one of the main things. The screws, uh, I'll see if I can salvage some of the components, like, I don't know, maybe, 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 I can figure out how to interface this, like, little display. Won't be worth my time or effort, but I think it'd be cool. Uh... I don't know, some of these parts might be cool for like a video set, like this white uh, screen right here, I think would make a good like video backdrop for displaying small parts, just because it looks really, really pure and I like the texture. Or it's like a studio white instead of like a piece of paper. I guess I could use a piece of paper, but this one has a kind of plasticky feel that I want. Um, but yeah, <laughs> what's inside your brother? Uh, yeah, we're not going to test that one just today. I, I do not believe in DIY surgery. It usually doesn't go very well. Don't ask me how I know. <laughs> uh, can you all hear me all right? Uh, I guess this is the thumbs up. I don't know if I, you can. I don't, I'm not monitoring this at all. So. It is a different microphone, and when I say that, I mean a very bad microphone, the built-in microphone. I'm not trying new things, but uh, yeah. Oh, hey, this is cool. So it looks like we're getting progress on here, just kind of dismantling this. super cool to think that this little uh, piece that kind of made sure the paper like got fed through was just a little spring. Okay. Oh, whoa. Okay, I think I broke that part. So, uh, oh, there are screws under here I have to get through first. So, so yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, this is a brother printer. I didn't get that joke. Uh, <laughs> I think I need a small, uh, shorter angle. Oh, this is a tool I've never found a purpose for, but we bought it like a little, a little while ago. It's this short little screwdriver. I don't even know if we'll have a purpose for it now, but it's worth trying maybe. Go back, focus, please. Thank you. Okay. 
and I don't think it's even good for this purpose. So there, are, the moral of the story here is that some tools are just useless. <laughs> That's why you should give up on your dreams. <laughs> oh, and this glass panel might be really cool. This is so weird for me because I don't know where to disassemble first. Uh, here was a super easy thing to disassemble, which is the plastic plate that came off. Oh, whoa. So, oh, I'm going to show you in here. I'll just this. I don't have enough cord. But there's this little panel over. Here's our cinematic lowering. So this is a panel right here that has access to the circuit board. So we're going to have to make sure it's in the off position. It, yes, it's off. It doesn't matter though. You can, as, can you like install RAM? What? I've never heard of putting RAM in a printer. But, but it looks like you can put memory or RAM or something in the printer. Maybe you have it play Tetris or something. Really not sure. While we're down here, I think we'll hop around. I don't know. Uh, I'm kind of just seeing what, kind of like getting a feel for what place is the easiest. Uh, <laughs> you know a hammer works. Uh, that, that is true. Is there an echo? 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 Oh, that's that's unfortunate. Yeah, this is the garage. So it's the same garage I film a lot of my videos in. When it's closed, it's like an echo chamber. I think I need to put like towels or something on the ground to or in the corners so that the sound doesn't echo off the corners, but I don't have any actually I do have some towels. I don't know if it makes a huge difference, but I'll get them right now. Hurry for destruction. Ah. Actually, these are more rags than towels. Oh well. I don't even know if this helps. Maybe I'll get some of those. Ah, instantly improved six million percent. <laughs> Uh, don't actually. Oh, I'm sorry about that. That was a little annoying to me, so it's probably gonna like ruin all of your chandeliers and stuff with the amount of obnoxiousness that occurred to you. Um, ooh, this is cool. So this panel, it looks like basically. <laughs> that's really cool. So this panel basically just holds in here by like basically a thread. So if it's not clipped into this thing, it, it'll come off indefinitely. And it's weird to think that this panel looks so beautiful on this side, but then like an angry monster thing on this side. I'm going to move my light so you can see everything better. I should have thrown that light earlier, um, or the fox, because now I'm tripping over it. Here we go. This is an in-shop live. Uh, do, do, do. This is so exciting. Echo in the room. Oh, and it looks like Yummy's uh, seven no A320. Is it a side stick? Oh yeah, he's putting a side stick. So that's super cool. Just okay, so. I want to get this part off. Yeah, I don't know, it's just fun to explore things like this. You know when you take apart like the TV and then you can't put it back together? That is basically this, but we don't even care if it comes back together. I am really impressed with this piece. I know that sounds a little sarcastic, but uh, I really like the way that this metal tab right here clipped into the printer and kind of just went into a box. I don't know. Curiosity probably killed the cat, but um, the cat was going to die anyways, so I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes I think I'm going to go somewhere super inspirational, but 
Um, yeah, you just heard beautiful philosophy from Trevor. <laughs> the cow is gonna die anyway. Uh, um, the printer is a brother. Uh, okay, that makes more sense. Just yeet it off. No, I know I'm, I could do that. I just want to learn how the structures behind it like intertwine. Because my my simulator is kind of actually like a giant printer. Okay, that's gonna go on my tombstone, isn't it? Uh, but basically. My simulator is a system with all of its components interlocked, and they have to go together in such a way that everything fits together. And a printer is an excellent example of this, because all of these components are so tightly bound together. This is incredible. It's not, there's not a lot of wasted space, or at least, so I think. Um, I'm not a printer engineer, so I can't critique it or like come up with a blog post about brothers, printer, madness. Um, what else? Oh, these screws. That's what I was actually going for in the, in the beginning. But these screws, I think, control this scanner, scanner bed up here. Uh, it is not one for me, but that would be super fun. Yeah, we have, actually I can turn on yet another light. I have one right there. Let's do this. Okay, so this controls, let's let you see it. Uh, so this controls this, and this part fell out automatically because it looks like, it looks like, how does that work? I'm so curious. I'm gonna put it back actually to see just how it works. Does it go up with it? Or like what happens behind the scenes here? So, oh, okay, that makes a lot more sense. So there's a screw right here, and then whenever you pull this up, the screw uh, is hidden. So this screw is the only thing keeping this in its pocket. But once you read, why is this screwdriver doing that? It's like, um, there we go, should be good. But once you unscrew this, oh, it might be the screw. I don't know. Oh well. <laughs> Congratulations, you successfully opened the printer, says Yummy. Uh, and I would say that this is more than just a, uh, an achievement. Uh, this is a way of life. Okay, so it looks like Go. Oh. Okay, we're gonna have to like get this guy some boundaries. So basically, there's this, there's these two cables that come out of the printer that attach to its feeding motors and also its, I think, like controls or anything up there. Uh, if we learn how to detach those, that'd be super fun. Yeah, I'm in mountain time, so. Um, yeah. Congratulate, congratulations, boy. Yeah. <laughs> the back looks like a track crash track. Oh, the back looks like a trash truck. That's <laughs> or a trash compactor. That's hilarious. Yeah, it does. It kind of does. Um, <laughs> yeah, the screwdriver is like. Um, I'll figure out how to fix that. Hopefully before the end of the live stream. And congratulations, people of YouTube. You have you are making history. This is the first ever time someone's taken over a printer and someone's watched it. Taken apart a printer. Actually, probably not. Okay, we're gonna change tactics. By tactics, I mean you're fired. Oh, there are my safety glasses. Rip safety. Right now, I'm not doing anything that would. Whoop. Where is this noise coming from? I might have to get a new screwdriver. Uh, there's like a pretzel on this one or something. Oh no, it's glue. <laughs> Any of you that are new to this channel, 
this isn't what we do every week. Usually it's just like a chat, but, or usually it's a flight sim chat. That is one way to do this. Yeah. I, <laughs> oh, oops. And, um, yeah, let's see. It looks like I stretched this. Ah, so this is ribbon wire. That's, I just turned it. I knew that before, but now I know for sure. And oh, if only I can figure it out. I'm jumping all around the lot because I don't know what the best angle to attack this from is. And some of you might be asking, why am I attacking the printer? Uh, it, it has ruined my life. No, no, it's just dramatic. Uh, but yeah. Oh, it does look. Yeah, it's the trash compactor from Star Wars. Uh, so yeah, there's this part that fell off, uh, and it looks like it's just a little roller. Uh, if you ever want to focus, this camera is kind of like me whenever I go down to study. It's like, mm, I don't really want to focus, so you're going to have to give me a few reasons why. Yeah. Um, so I think what we'll do is... I'm so sorry that the screwdriver is so freaky. This is something interesting. WD-40. I gotta go get some of that. I don't know where this squeak is coming from, though. I think it's actually coming from the screws, because the screws are plastic. It might, I don't know. I'll just use my drill, actually. My impact driver. It is coming from the screwdriver. So yeah. We're smarter, not harder, kids. And we don't really care about, like, preserving this, um, printer, so we're good if it can do it. We're good if it doesn't completely work out well. But here's another cool thing. Uh, let me see if I can't figure out how this works. But it's the arm. Yeah, so this little arm is the thing that actually holds this whole assembly up right here. And it's super hard to press because it, it has a lever for the brick bed. So it uses a lever, basically, to pull up the, the lever. So if it was weak, it would just fling back and forth, like with the wing, basically. But it's super hard. Oh, whoa. Did not see that coming. Okay, I'm going to show you this, actually, because it's super exciting. Uh, but basically, this is a... I don't know what this is. If anyone knows what it is, it like it's a locking hinge, I guess. But basically, you can press it down, and then it requires force to be pressed back up, and it kind of pops out. So it's like a popping locking hinge thing. But I think that's really interesting. I've used this printer for like years. I never figured that out. But it actually, you need to get it to a point where it opens, and then when you close it, you have to apply force to close it. So that, that would make sense, actually. I'm going to move this a little more. There we go. Yeah, we are back. Ooh. I'm in the shadows. <laughs> so yeah, uh, that's this one. And Uh, oh, and now I think, yeah, here we go. Now I think I can lift this up without destroying the world. So that's kind of nice. Oh, wow. Oh, whoa. That is super cool. I don't know why they don't just leave this uncovered. 
That is so cool. It's like a these gears especially can be used for super cool things in a simulator. But it looks like <laughs> I am got camera operation skills 600 million. So basically, these gears right here, uh, these gears right here go through with fancy gear ratio and make all of these other components, I guess, move, or these other gears. And it looks like there's another gear on kind of a swivel thing that if pressed up, I don't know how it works actually. Um, I thought I knew everything, but I know nothing. Oh, maybe. Maybe this is actually the drive gear. Uh, or it's not. I'm, I'm not really sure. But basically, if one of these gears moves, all of these gears move. So it looks like this is on a motor somewhere. Uh, maybe even right here. Uh, it's just a stepper motor. And it looks like there's a few gear ratios, so this this gear you'll notice moves slower, at least I think, than this gear right here. I'm not really too scientific right now, I'm a little tired. <laughs> but yeah. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, that face though. Uh yeah, you're gonna have to live with that face. I I that's my face. I'm not gonna apologize. Yeah. Wait. Don't you think it would be so cool if they just left the printer exposed? Uh, I digress though. Oh, and let's put, let's get this screw undone. That's totally. I don't know why I don't just use the impact driver, but. Oh, that's cool. So it looks like this hinge mechanism, right? Come back. It looks like this hinge. It looks like this hinge mechanism right here. I want to focus on the hinge, not me. This is the star. This is just an oversight. Uh, <laughs> or like an afterthought, that's what I meant. Uh, but yeah, so right here, this, this tightens together to the top part of the fancy hinge. And you'll see this is kind of how it works. Come here, focus. That's really cool. I never would have guessed. Uh, but yeah, now we're going to see if we can detach these completely. I imagine they don't put quick releases on printers though, so it looks like we're going to have to cut some wires or something. Uh, or just leave it, kind of give up. No, we will not surrender. I don't know where that's from, but it sounds really funny. Uh, Oh, this is something that's probably not meant to do. So yeah, there's a screw here. Okay, we'll let you see it, don't worry. Yeah, that's probably not the right, best way to... But yeah, I mean, definitely not optimizing the process. Um, yeah. Unscrew here. Wow. This is super cool. I'm learning so much you know, new stuff. <laughs> it, I always set that alarm. You'll pull it from the other light screen. And here's the plasticky stuff. Oh, we don't want to ruin it though, because I want to keep this if I can. So yeah, how do you like the InShop Live? Uh, I think it's, I think it's cool style. I will show you what we probably came here low key for. Uh, I'll show you a sim update. But yeah, here's this paper, and I think it would be cool just to have uh, to use as I see fit. Any screws here? Oh, and this comes out. This looks like a just piece of sheet metal bent and then cut. We could actually maybe try to flatten it out to see what it would look like when it's being manufactured. There's a little spring or a piece of bent metal. Come on. 
piece of bent metal right here that just lets it kind of go however it wants, kind of pop back up. And you'll find a lot of these in this printer. Here we have a bunch of rollers. And yeah, that is about it on the other side, to my knowledge. Let's see if we can pop off the other side. Ooh. Yeah, let's go see the simulator. Get out of there. It's right here. I'm actually not gonna move. I'll just zoom in. <laughs> but yeah, here's the flight simulator. Uh, I don't know if I can show you this, but basically right over there, I don't know where I'm pointing. Right over there is the sheet metal, sheet fiberglass I'm working on. It's super exciting. Uh, yeah, that's most of the progress. I glued its shoes on. You'll recall the shoes from the last episode. Uh, it's little stand, I guess. But yeah, anything else? Ooh, this is tricky. I don't really think we have anything else. If you look closely, it kind of looks like Sid the Sloth right here, so I think that's hilarious. Let's go back to the printer, shall we? Ooh, I'm super zoomed in. Jump, jump, jump. Hey, yeah. So, um, so yeah, there's the simulator progress, if anyone's still awake. <laughs> I love that. I love making fun of myself. It's the hilarious. It's so hilarious to me. Oh, and there's a screw right here. That's what keeps holding me down. Uh, oh, and another one. This one I'll have to use the squeaky, squeaky screwdriver. Oh, and I don't want to strip it. That would be so bad. Do we have any new comments? I don't know. Let's see. It looks like we don't, so yeah. If you have any questions about literally anything, ask me. Well, maybe not literally anything. Uh, there are some weird topics that you, you should probably ask your parents. Oh dear, you could take that the wrong way. Um, Oh, is it coming off? Uh, not yet. It looks like it's stuck on something. It's like calculating everything. It's like, what do I do? What do I do? Uh, we could try to take apart this gear assembly and see how that works. Uh, oh, this one is super hard. I'm not going to strip it, so I'll use these. Oh, and we can also see the dashboard. Sometimes that works better. Sweet! So yeah, we have some of the rods. I can't believe it's already been like half an hour. This time flies when you're taking apart random broken printers. That's, I think, what Aristotle said. For nothing else, I guess you can come to my live streams for my bad jokes. <laughs> um, ooh, that's fun. Oh, it looks like there's a machine screw, so. Oh, I popped something off. I don't know if I was supposed to, and it looks like the gears don't like move as well as they should have. So we're making either we're either making stuff or breaking stuff. We're definitely breaking it. This is like uh, huh. oh, 
there's a, another one right here that I can't be really access. Should we go to the other side? Okay, so here's the toner. I'm not necessarily going to take this apart because I know what's in it. There's a bunch of ink and stuff. Uh, and then here's the actual toner itself. The holder for it we got going. And then it clips into here, which I think is super fun. I never said I did it well. And then it has a little release right here. You can just pop this out and take it out. I think it's an overall good system. And there's a little racket aligns with here. I think all the engineering behind this is super cool. Where's the wiffle ball? Where's the wiffle ball bat? Um, let's see. Here it is. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. That's to make sure that the cars don't like pull forward too much. Uh, and so I'm not allowed to take it off because otherwise they would pull forward too much. But it's there and it's, it annoys so much energy out of me. If that makes sense at all. Oh, oh I've, I've already seen that. Uh, I'll see if anything in novel. I'm seeking novel experiences with this endeavor. Uh, I have to take like the entire chunk here. Ooh, there's a huge gear. And here's the wrinkly thing that makes you inky. Um, yes, you can tell I'm a scientist and professional. Uh, huh. Oh, I can just take this out? Why didn't you say so? Oh, maybe I can't. It looks like there are eight heartbeats. That's what this sign says. I'll show you it once I get this out. <laughs> oh well. Uh, maybe I'll just leave that. Let it be. But this part looks like another runner. So paper, when it goes through the printer, is kind of a a roller coaster. You gotta go like run the tray and then bend up and then get printed on. And it's all super fine in a, in a single location, which I think is super cool. It might just be, <laughs> maybe this is yet another piece of proof I'm going insane, <laughs> like my April Fool's video. But I truly think there's a whole lot of cool engineering behind just like everyday things like printers. All these gears, someone has to sit in a CAD program and design those gears. Feel for you. Gears are annoying. <laughs> Especially, I think in, I think they're hard to do in Fusion 360 a little bit. So sometimes I'll go to FreeCAD. Uh, but I, you can use FM gear generator, and that makes it so much easier. There are some people who will like with the hard way, and I'm like, why do you just complicate everything? But that's okay. Oh, and here's a stepper motor. I think it's a stepper motor. It might just be a DC motor. I just saw a motor and thought, stepper motor. Uh, yeah. Oh, the wiffle ball finally fell off. I'll have to retie that. Oops. Probably happened when I hit it with a baseball bat. <laughs> okay, this string is going to annoy the heck out of me. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, is it buffering? Uh, maybe. Okay. Well, even if it is, I can't really control that, so we're going to move on. Okay. Uh, I could like speed up my 
talking to you about that <laughs> I wonder how many people think the live stream is loading and they have super bad internet somehow, but it's actually just me loading and they have a, another bottleneck instead of their internet. We haven't shown you this part of it. Here's where you plug in the SD card and we're trying to take out everything we can, basically. Uh, usually there are little tabs wherever you can take stuff out and, and stuff like that. It doesn't look like there's a whole lot over here. But there is a screen right here on my get. And again, back to the squeaky screwdriver. I'm sorry, I can't mute, mute it. Uh, it's too far. I wish I could. I have some knockoff WD-40 in my laundry room. Let me know if you're interested in that. Oh, and there's a barcode. Maybe it shows the user's social security number and I should blur it out. Because that's totally interesting. Oh, wait. Now I want to see oh, what can I do with this printer. Uh, oh, I can pull this out, I think. Maybe. It's just so interesting how many functions a printer can have. Like, for real, what, like, what is all of this for? And then there's buttons, and there's like, cool stuff over here. Maybe I should have, like, read the user manual or something before I took the part. But I just think it's super interesting. All of these little gears and stuff like that. Hopefully you're at least having a little bit of a fun time. Uh, and I really want to get to the stepper motors if we can. I think that would be so cool uh, to show you all. Because I've configured stepper motors on my channel. Not the same ones though. These are different, wider, just lightly, I think. I wonder if I can put them to a driver and use them. Okay. I just want this panel to come on. Uh, I don't know how these go together, so it's a little... Oh yeah! Aha! This is a panel that comes completely off, and basically this panel is just for kicks and giggles, for looks, you're the little viewport thing. Uh, but once you get under it, uh, over here, it looks pretty different. Uh, where is it? Yeah, let's raise it up a little. See it. But yeah, doesn't it look not like what it used to look like? But it does reveal screws. One, two, three. Uh, which reveals this is super cool. As I, I say, as I don't show you anything. <laughs> Over here, they have a pin thing. I'm going to disconnect if I can. If not, we'll have to like. Oh, it disconnected the easy way, I guess. Oh, whoa, whoa, screws. So, yeah, here is the. Sorry about that. Here is the PCB. This is the circuit board. And it looks like. There's this whole pinout for it to go to the actual printer motherboard, and then it looks like there's a bunch of wires right here for the keypad. Look at my hands. Uh, and then these are all just simple buttons, and they have a rubber insert. And it looks like these are similar buttons you'd use on a printer, actually. I can pop, pop it out. Yeah, it looks very similar construction to a printer. And that way they don't have to pay for tactile switch buttons and rubber. They just have to pay for like the circuit board to be made in a way that if you press it down, it works as a keyboard. If you can desolder, switches are useful. Yeah, uh, if I can, 
I would love the LCD. The LCD would be so cool. It'll be interesting to just to interface it. I I'd have to learn more, which is exactly what I want to do through this YouTube channel. Sorry if the sorry if the screwdriver is too loud. Let me know and I can like mute it or something, but I have to walk over every time. Here's another sheet metal part. Uh, look at this. It looks just like a little bent piece. Um, anything else? Oh, another screw. Another one back to the desk. Hey. And another one. So, now, can we peel stuff off? Printers are like ogres. They have layers. Oh, I, I butchered that. I'm sorry, everyone. Ogres are like onions. Why wow, they stink and they get <laughs> when you leave them out in the sun? Uh, let's see if there's anything else we can get. Ooh, there's a secret cleaning compartment. I don't know what to, what it's for. I'm gonna have to like sweep this. I'm not even gonna try uh, to like manage all the screws. I'll do that later. Okay. I'll show you the hidden compartment later. If it like. Uh, okay, so basically. Uh, so I'll show you what it was. So it was this little piece stuck into the printer that wrapped the cable that wrapped around the cable so that the cable wouldn't get pinched. Uh, it, it was basically acting as like a little bit of slack so that if you like slammed the printer down, it wouldn't, I guess, uh, like pull the cord and potentially short, short it out. But yeah, that reveals a longer cable that I'm probably gonna break. Uh, what else should I do to this printer? I could smash it with a hammer. Uh, I don't know if I want to though, because that would break the glass, and I kind of want to keep the glass in case I don't want uh, Look for solenoids too. Uh, Membrane switches. Yeah, that's what they're called, I think. Uh, turn the volume down on the drill. It's the red knob. Ha <laughs> ha. I don't. I don't have one. There's one right here. Ah, this turns it down quite a bit. You'll see when I pull the trigger all the way, it is quite a bit quieter right now. Ah, uh, I get it. So you just like use it quieter. There we go. Check the lid for motors or stepper motors. Yeah, there's one motor I know for sure in here, uh, and I'm gonna look down here for other motors. Patent pending. I don't know why I said that. Uh, let's just let that kind of hang out. We're we're not gonna use this wire. Do you want me to just cut it? It's gonna hang around. I'm gonna cut it. I can always solder it back. Solder it back. Uh, do not try it home. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to cut it at this. Oh, oh, it's just heat shrink. I don't feel bad at all. I know you all are gonna be like, why are you using a knife instead of like? Cutters, and I'll be like, okay, I'll go get them. Yeah, that's exactly how it works. Uh, well, I'm almost there. 
I just don't want to hurt myself. That would be a total showstopper. Kind of hate myself towards your friends. Okay, so there was a little bundle of wires, a bundle of joy, uh, and this wire came up over here. Check for solenoids. That would be super fun. I know I said that. <laughs> There's, um, ever seen the movie Office Space? You have a bat. <laughs> I do have a bat. Uh, I do have a hammer, too. I haven't seen Office Space. Uh, I think it would be such a cool job to just go, to be able to like go ruin things. I mean, I get people into. <laughs> I was gonna say I get people into flight simulation, so that that probably ruins their lives. But yeah, it's a really fun hobby. I actually it changed my life, so so I would say it's definitely worth it. If you're considering going into flight simulation, do it. What are you waiting for? Uh, just start with what you got. Oh, I think we're close. We have our heading. Here we go! That's in like every Disney commercial from the old movies. Uh, you get off TV. I can't peel it off. Someone help. Okay, it looks like we're gonna have to peel it off with like a screwdriver. Oh. We're making progress. We just gotta. <laughs> um, yeah. Stepper motors. I think I have one more that I need to use. Sorry. There we go. So this plate would make an excellent. Thing to like, I don't know, cut any instrument glass out of or anything. I don't know, but that one I, I'm, I was looking forward to. But here is what I thought would be the highlight of the live stream, uh, and I hope it is. Maybe uh, here is the actual scanner bed itself. So basically, whenever you press, press the little scan button, I guess it's over here right now, where you like copy, like beep. It goes, uh, uh, do something. And so then it sends these motors over, and they send this magical thing over here. It's like, and then here's the ribbon wire that, oh, yeah, I did that too fast. Here's the ribbon wire that uh, basically allows the light Magical powers, I think. But yeah, this is basically a light, and I thought it would have like super rugged construction, but actually, if you look right here, it's not that rugged. It's it can come off and on as much as it wants, and this actually rolls pretty well. But yeah, it just has this little gear right here, and it's funny if you. And then uh, it has a bunch of lights that I think sense or something, and yeah, I can use this, like, I don't know, for a radio or something. Not really sure what to do with it, but it looks cool. Let's try to get some stepper motors out of this, shall we? Aha! So yeah, there's this little clamp mount thing, and here's a rod. Rods are super nice in flight simulation, uh, and I think it's even dimensioned, like off the shelf dimensions, so should be good there, maybe. We have the stepper motor right here, and I'm so glad I didn't accidentally like cut the cut anything, but it looks like That's super weird. Oh, so they stepped it down. So basically, if this moves a little, uh, if this moves a lot, this moves a little, and that just helps it slow down. So yeah, that'll be interesting to use like instruments with and stuff. There'll be a lot of stuff in there. 
Here's this elastic -y band from the ears. I forgot what you call it, and I'm ashamed to show my face on YouTube. Uh, we have more springs. There are like infinite springs in this sucker. What else? Oh yeah, let's look at the chat. Keep harnesses. It's easier to trace wires without cutting them. Oh. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, probably should have thought about that. Oh well, yeah, I won't cut anymore, don't worry. Uh, probably should though. <laughs> I might accidentally do something stupid. So yeah, I will keep all the rest of the wires. That one I just kind of wanted to cut, so it would be done. And if I don't get a stepper motor off of that top, I'm okay. I kind of doubt it's a stepper motor. But, um, but yeah. <laughs> and we're tracing this wire, and this one can just go wherever the heck it wants. Uh, and if you're wondering why printers are so expensive sometimes, this is why. They're like amazing and amaze, like confusing. Why? Uh, um, can I get this off somehow? Um, oh, there are probably screws on the bottom. The bottom is a popular place for screws because they're hidden. At least, usually. So, like, if your product is upside down, no one cares if there's screws showing. Um, I'll get a little thing. Pliers, that's what they're. You don't know, so why not? How long have we been going? Oh, whoa. Almost at four. Yeah, we have a stepper motor right here. Just kidding, I'm not going to cut it. <laughs> we have... Let me get the screw out of the way. Screw right here. And yeah. Let's flip her over and then see what's on the bottom. I just gotta make sure I don't ruin everything forever. Those are very good sounds to hear. It's funny though, because I'll do something, because I didn't turn the latency up very much. Sorry, volume. Uh, There you go. There's. Uh, I didn't turn the latency up very much on this live stream, so basically, or it's not ultra low latency, so the real time interaction is a little bit skewed. So I'll do something, and they'll be like, "Don't do that," and I'll be like, "Oh, oops." <laughs> or I don't know, but I'll say something, and then ten minutes later, it'll like process. Not exactly ten minutes, but it's like. And that's awkward. Oh, yeah, that's loud. It's enough that it's awkward for conversation, I guess. Just. Oh, oh yeah, there's paper. Here's the print bed. You could do like an entire YouTube series just on like a single piece of the printer. I swear, it's so cool. Uh. Let's see, any screws here? Oh, it looks like there's a micro switch right here that tells if the printer bed is open or not. And there, here's at an angle over here. Um, any more screws, I can randomly unscrew without any. There's one. Basically, I just want everything to come apart. That's a fun noise. Oh, there are these on the front. That's what I've been missing. Oh, that one 
Okay. Okay. Any more screws? Oh, and then here's another sheet. Um, I have no clue what this is for. <laughs> it's so funny because I'm realizing things that I never knew existed in the printer. Um, yeah. There's this support bracket. More screws, which we're excited about. Let's look at the chat. Uh, micro switches. I love micro switches so much. I have a little box of them. They're, they're so awesome. They're so useful too. Uh, you can use them for for landing gear. For uh, what else? Parking brake. They're so much nicer than just normal switches. And it looks like we have this metal piece of epicness. Which is pretty cool. Uh -huh. Look at this. We have this piece of sheet metal thing. Uh, it looks like it. There's a paper roller, so obviously paper rolls under it. Uh, but under here, we have the motherboard. Oh, here. Let's get this on. Okay, we're okay. good. We have a switch. If nothing else, we got a power switch. Here's. And here's the motherboard. I assume this is a, a protection from ink. And I assume it is because there's a little bit of ink on it. Uh, let's undo the motherboard. Probably won't be able to reuse this. But you never know. I don't know. We could have it. We could rewire, repurpose it so that you, if you like print, press scan. Uh, magical things happen, and like, I don't know, you call up ABC. <laughs> but then, this is the motherboard, and it's actually pretty simple. I'm surprised at how how ancient it looks. And I'll unscrew these so you can, oh, does this come out of Yeah, so here's the entire motherboard. I'm calling it motherboard, but it looks like it's just uh, designed to be made cheaply. Um, there are these aren't these aren't surface mounted, so these are it's possible that um, yeah I don't know. There are these components. These might be solenoids. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section to your right. Maybe is that where it is? But yeah, capacitors. We got some transistors. It looks like. This might be a transformer. Not really sure. Uh, I'm new to electronics. Uh, I have been for a while. But yeah, it's really interesting to see some of some of this stuff in action. But yeah, this is way cool. Never thought that was what the inside of a printer looked like until now, I guess. We can Yeah, I just made a problem for myself when I cut that wire. Oh, well. uh, <laughs> now I'm like, oh, why'd you do that? But it, the worst thing that can happen is uh, the printer that was going to be thrown away uh, ends up in the trash. Yeah, so we can't really recycle it. Something, then getting super concentrated on something, and then 
completely forget what I was going to say, and it's probably like frustrating for a few of you, but life is full of disappointments for so many people. That's from Mr. Golkin. Yeah, this is super fun. Uh, we have this. Uh, this fell out. And then, oh, whoa, we didn't bring this whole entire piece out. Uh, this is another set of rollers, and I think these rollers would be kind of cool for some stuff. I don't know exactly what. I could build a mini printer like they have in the 737s or 747s, and then just put it in my Cessna. That'd be hilarious. I don't know if I can program it to print anything because a lot of effort, but you know, only time will tell. And time is kind of a top tale if you ask me. Any new comments? Oh, yeah. I thought, let's see. So here is what these are. Let's see if we can. I don't think these are solenoids. I basically use fancy words whenever I don't know what it is. Um, but, but yeah, here's what they are. I, I'm really not quite sure. It's pretty interesting. I also thought it was interesting how they had parts of this that were hollow. So maybe you could get airflow going through it or something. Uh, interesting. Yeah, this is a. I think this is a great experience for me right now because if things come up in the future with engineering, uh, with mechanical engineering, I'll I can think back to this little experience and be like, oh yeah, in the printer there was a gear that looked like that. I had no clue what it was, but now I do, and I can use those to latch on to it. Oh, I just broke this. So yeah, this is what we call a part failure. Uh, actually, no, that's what we call human error. It would have never broken if uh, I didn't break it. Wait, uh, let's see if we can unplug things and stuff. I feel like I'm supposed to be able to unplug this, but I'm not, and I feel uncomfortable. In my defense, this is a, a hard thing to unplug. Okay. We're going to go with my rule of not hurting myself and just leave it hanging. I know that's not good for electronics, uh, but I don't think this is ultimately something I'm going to use. I'm so sorry. Oh, I got it. Never mind. I don't have to feel guilty anymore. Anything we can peel off of here. Ooh, we're making progress. Cool. Even if I break it, that's okay. That's probably not the mentality you should use when taking apart the stuff, but this example is purely for education. Ah. What is catching? Huh. A lot of interesting stuff happening here. It looks like there's a ground wire attached, and a lot of these pieces are metal, which kind of surprised me. And then it surprised me when some of the pieces you think should be metal are made of plastic. But I'm not the expert here. That is so cool. Uh, um, oh, there's a screwdriver stuck in here. That's that would make sense why it didn't close so smoothly. <laughs> uh, well, we'll let you out. You can escape. Yep, here it is. This is super cool. Uh, 
Oh yeah, we can ungroup this. And just let it plop off. And we'll just do of course. Oh, we could get a fan from this too. I don't know how good of a fan it will be, uh, but it will be a fan. Likely. I can put it on the front of my simulator and just pretend it's a propeller. Okay, let's look at the comments if there are any. Um, solenoids have two wires and can be activated like switches. Uh, Always good to have boxes full of things you may use someday. Your kids and grandkids will appreciate that you saved them. Yeah. Maybe I should have saved the printer. <laughs> yeah. Um, anything here? Oh, I'm making progress. Here is the printer panel. Ta-da! It's, it's actually a group of a few pieces. Uh, hey, focus. There's this piece, and it looks like it's actually tacked on here with a little um, insert. So these are two separate pieces that are kind of formed together. Uh, and it looks like this is a molded piece. Yeah, there's even a little graph right here or a chart. So in case you like run out of graph paper for algebra, you can just say, oh, 2014, 7. I think it's a maintenance record, but um, this will be its last maintenance day. There are a ton of switches over here, or screws over here. So I think we'll just unscrew the little and kind of call it good. We learned a lot. Uh, or at least I did. Uh, you don't have to learn. It's optional for you. Um, let's see. Here is the printer. We're just going to unscrew everything. Uh, you might want to mute the volume because this is just going to be a ton of unscrewing. And I'll like do a thumbs up when we're done. I don't know. For sensors where the rollers are. Sweet. Oh, oh that's bad for it. What does the thing say? Oh, I should turn it off on Fridays because Fridays are live Fridays, right? Super hard. Yeah. Granted, I'm not using the right screw head.
Okay, and it looks like I'm basically done with most of the screws. Um, sweet. What's happening? We're taking apart a printer uh, just for fun to see how it works. Uh, you can replay the video at times two speed if you want to get um, caught up after we're done. I don't know. It's just fun to see how everything works inside of it. And we're also salvaging some of the parts like that sheet over there of just clear glass and some of the stepper motors just to use on the simulator. Why not? Oh, I just dropped my phone. Uh, that was probably super loud for you. I'm sorry. And then we also have yeah, we have a ton of harnesses and wires we can look around at. I'm not going to put this back together, so I'm not concerned with documenting ever anything. Uh, I should document a lot of the wiring though for but yeah. I just want it all unplugged uh, and completely disassembled. I can always look at the maintenance or the like actual handbook maybe to see details about stuff, but yeah. I'm basically gonna have this not happen. That makes sense. Which it doesn't. Okie dokie. Uh, anything else on the chat? Uh, thank you so much for making a video about MopiFlight. It was very helpful. I always appreciate your videos. Uh, thank you, Stall. That means a lot to me. Uh, I really like making these videos about MobiFlight because I had a hard time figuring out MobiFlight and hopefully they help you. I, I'm really glad that you like them. Okay, I lied. We have four more screws, it looks like. Sensors and stuff, maybe pretty cool. Oh, and we got this part off. I know that's where I said I'd leave the end of the live stream, uh, but I do want to see where this goes to. Uh, does it go anywhere, like at all? It is. We are tied down to a few wires, so we should probably. Get these out of the way first. And we have a motor right here. I think this is the primary feed motor to the paper, if that makes sense. Uh, this is so weird. Okay, so these are DC motors, so I don't care. Uh, they have two wires, they're DC, uh, meaning they don't have any fancy wiring. I can cut these if I have to. I think there are some plugs right here, though, so I'll test those first. Okay. Extremely professional needle nose wires. Let's see. Oh, I just kind of broke that off. Sorry about that, buddy. Um, yeah. Consider it done for one of them, and then this other one. 
have been very helpful. I'm building a yoke, but you've shown me lots of other things I need now, too. That's so awesome. Oh my goodness! Uh, you can't see my excited face, but Stahl just made a contribution of... Actually, Stahl just made a contribution. I don't know what currency that is. I'm... Uh, but, thank you so much for your contribution to the channel. That means the world to me. Uh, it's so humbling when people support the channel. Uh, it work now. But thank you so much. That wow. It's always like wow. Um, so yeah, thank you so much, Stall. And I really hope you have a nice day. Okay, let's see. Uh, what was I just trying to show you? I was trying to show you this. Yeah. Uh, and then... That is so cool. But yeah, so there's this whole Disney World, Disney World like gear framework, but it looks like... Can gears do that? It looks like it's actually a ratcheting gear. So if you turn it right, all of these gears around here spin, but if you turn it left, eventually I think one of the gears down here catches or something. That is way cool. Oh yeah, and then this is always there. And it looks, it looks like once this sucker uh, falls out, uh, it breaks the link between all of these gears. So yeah. This is super weird and amazing. It's like the Matrix. I don't know what that is. Just kidding. Um, but yeah, and you can see a very similar thing over here. If the stepper motor rotates here, uh, it goes and turns a bunch of gears. There's a funky plunger mechanism thing here. I don't know what it's for, but, uh, but it's super cool. Yeah. Uh, uh, I don't, this is also greasy, um, when I get, I won't, I could like work on some of my flight simulator and I wouldn't have to like, grease any of the components because it would just all come out of my hands. But yeah, so this is a weird stepper motor, the, it's like the RC planes where the uh, casing actually rotates and then that spins these gears. So that is super cool. Um, wow, it comes so spinny. Uh, wow, that is super awesome. This is another cool part. This is a stepper motor with way too many gears for me to have a headache over. Or way too many wires, not gears. Um, yeah, wow, this is insane. Oh, there's another two little screws. Yeah, thank you so much, Stahl, for your donation. And let's see, is there any chat stuff? Yeah, uh, I will look for a fan, but I think this should probably. <laughs> I think I should eventually end the video, but I'm having a grand old time. We can stay a little. 
maybe now that I've dropped my drill, I should end it before anything else that happens. <laughs> but yeah, I've been having a grand old time. We'll keep it alive a little longer, shall we? So yeah, here's some more gears. I can put these together and, I don't know, make a little gear showcase. Put it on my desk. I could like make it a decoration or something. Oh, I could sell it. That would be cool. That would fun for my simulator. Make a little desk art thing. Or I could use them for my simulator, of course. But yeah, it looks like this is actually a sensor of some sort. Uh, there are two wires going from it, so it might be a super simple wire, a uh, motor, or it's a fancy sensor from another dimension. As I said before, I'm not really sure what all of this does, but it is sure at, it is sure as heck fun to learn. Let's see right here. This is a little tiny, I don't know what it is, but it looks cool. Yeah, it's a tiny, tiny motor, I think. Oh, I dropped its little spring. Now I feel so guilty. Is it like a... I don't know what it does. And there are these strings that act together. It's super cool to get into the nitty-gritty of like how things work. I just take it apart. This one's probably not supposed to come out. That's why it's so hard to come out, maybe. Or it's just a conspiracy theory. And I'm weak. <laughs> oh, I can get it out from here, bending the metal how it's not supposed to go. Why not? Okay, here we go. And there's more clear paper uh, plastic behind it, uh, just in case ink splatters, I think. That's its purpose. Uh, so it'll go up against like ink splatters. Man, I got I finally got to the like coolest part after like an hour and a half. So, so I want to go a little bit further to see what magic comes. My way. <laughs> I don't know. Part of me is like, I should probably write my answer, but then another part of me is like, whoa, this is so cool. So, yeah. This is a fantastic example of how great engineering is. And then these come out. Somehow this works. Bada bing, bada bang, and magic happens. So well, let's check the chat. Uh, you can see quite a few useful parts. Absolutely, uh, we have these little motors. Hopefully I didn't break them to the point of extinction. We have this weird circuit board. It might be useful, probably not, but it's worth a shot. And I finally got it undone. Here's what it looks like. Here's where you can put memory, card, either RAM, which I don't know why you need for a printer or like memory with maybe files on it. It looks like there's a CPU or something or like a, a mini CPU. I wonder what its graphics card is like. Beep. Um, yeah, that's super cool. I don't know what this is for. It might even just be a cool like poster thing on the wall. But yeah, this is eye opening. <laughs> This is the best thing that's happened to me all week. Um, <laughs> nah, um, yeah, here we go. Oh, this is a cool gear. Uh, it's, it's a thick one. I think it's like a main drive gear, maybe, or something. It looks like it's like the I get paper into the printer type of rod. Wow. This is so amazing. I think that taking it apart was so much more fun than hitting it with a bat. Although, hitting it with a bat will be a load of fun. Here's a torsion spring, so it's like one you'd see on a clothes pan. 
it with my greasy fingers. No, no, come back. Uh, the focus is skipping. Um, but yeah, basically, <laughs> it does not want to focus. Okay, there we go. But basically, it's a, like a close spin sprint. So yeah, quite a few. <laughs> Get yourself a hot air station, and you can take some of those strange, useful plugs off the off the boards. Uh, that's a good point. I could get uh, like a heat gun or like an actual hot air station. But... Oh, there's there's a screw that's prohibiting me. But yeah, if I got, I could get some of the plugs and stuff off of this. That would be so cool. I do want to make this. I don't want this to change the fact that I want my simulator to be built by anyone, uh, so I probably won't. Uh, so I'll probably have like. It's not wanting to go, but I'm persistent. There we go. I'm not going to use. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to use all of these components for my simulator, like. If I can't find a direct replacement for it, for you guys to make, because I really want my simulator to be built by anyone, so someone could come on, someone could come in with no experience and then learn through my videos how to build a simulator and learn from other videos too, anywhere that I miss, because I'm bound to miss like at least half the process. But if I can be a starting place for you to figure out how to build a simulator, that would be so cool. That's one of my missions. Be like a, a good home base, right? Be like, uh, this video is cool, you can learn this, and stuff like that. And yeah. Okay. Ah, well, sitting down feels weird after a while. But, Oh, I was going to say I found a culprit, but it was designed this way. Here's a gear that doesn't have all its crap together, basically. There's, it has a little bolt, a few little bolt spots, so I guess a receding hairline, maybe. And it basically, when this gear is rotated a certain amount of degrees, it will make a contact, but then it goes into the wild, starts a meets some wild like mountain lions or something and just lives in the outdoors and then it goes back makes contact and then escapes from humanity forever and then if this gear rotates it like makes contact again i don't know how if any of you followed my weird analogy but oh well <laughs> we have more things here it looks like we have our micro switch madness, and it looks like it's just a position indicator. It doesn't actually look like a micro switch, now that I can think of it. It looks like just a spring, which makes me a little sad. But yeah, uh, RAM is required for printers to buffer the large file prints, thus the option to add more. Useful in a print setting where the computer is connected to a network with multiple people printing from it. That that makes me, that makes a lot more sense. I was like, oh, people with their RGB printer RAM, but that makes a ton of sense because if you have a lot of people, uh, as you were saying, printing on a network like uh, we have a bunch, a bunch of computers printed to our print or connected to our printer, but they're hardly ever printing uh, more than one person at a time. But if but yeah, if we were going to print like 70 million papers at once, we definitely want to have RAM. Here's a cute little harness. Um, don't wear it while you're going skydiving it, though. It won't do very much. Oh, I was thinking of a parachute. Uh, that's different. I guess you do have a harness on your parachute, uh, which is cool. It looks like they have, they have these little um, I don't know, stretchy, magnetic y things. Are they magnetic? Maybe, but for the wires, 
I guess it's to denoise them. That might make sense. But yeah, uh, I did learn today that printers have RAM. I never knew that. Uh, thank you, Mo S. <laughs> that is super cool. And if I get anything else wrong about printers, please correct me because I don't want to be spreading lies like most of my videos. Wait, did I say that out loud? <laughs> oh, there is a micro switch. Guys, that's so cool. I hope it's not an illusion, but it looks like there is, in fact, a micro switch. Come on, now that I finally can figure it out. Well, there's, I'll just take this off of its little party thing. Going into the thing, goes through it. I don't know if you can see this. Sound of focus. Where is it? Come back. Oh yeah, there's not enough lighting. I'll get my phone actually. Here, stare at the floor for a second, will ya? You're doing great. Keep up the good work. Oh, and I forgot. Sometimes my flashlight doesn't work. So, uh, hey, there we go. Oh, sorry. But basically, right here is the micro switch. Uh, it. I show you now. When it's in. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, it turned off. Yeah, it only works for a second. But basically, when the printer is in its little mount thing, or when this tray is in, the micro switch is clicked. And then when the tray is out, the micro switch isn't clicked. So the printer freaks out and is like, What are you doing? And yeah, it's a pretty good system. Uh, it makes fun of you. You don't know what you're doing. It's very helpful. It looks like this is a switch to a sensor. So I think what happens is if it's out, then um, there's no contact. But if it gets pressed in, there is contact. So yeah, pretty cool sensor. There's a lot of electronics behind this. I don't know if I can even explore all of them. Oh, yeah, we have a motor here. And yeah, it looks like a motor. I think it is. Yeah, I think that can conclude our live stream today. We got stepper motors. We got a motherboard from our uh, printer. We can maybe even desolder some of these electronics, use them on the simulator, make some good wall art, maybe. Uh, if you have any more questions, stick around, put them in the chat, and I will get to you in the chat, probably answer you. Uh, regardless, have a fantabulous day. Um, take apart a printer if it doesn't work, and you can't fix it, and your parents let you, those are the three conditions, unless you don't, unless like, you know, you bought the printer, then you don't have to ask your parents. But, yeah, this is going <laughs> this is going downhill fast. I'm gonna end it. Uh, you can always you can always uh, go around and you can always put comments on this video or in the super chat right now. Have a fantabulous day, and I will.